Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. As we're starting off this week, I've already gotten a lot of questions about, you know, if a break above the 17,000 area and getting very close to the 2,000 uh, mark in the S&P is basically going to spark the next rally. Um, from where I sit, I look at a, a few things. First of all, I look at these so-called uh, negative divergences that we're seeing. Uh, among other things, for example, here on the Dow, you can see a negative divergence, price going higher, um, and the momentum losing out, basic momentum topped uh, last April, so April 2013. We then consider uh, going, uh, going over to the S&P 500. Um, if I can just bring that up like this and make it a daily chart. You'll see that uh, the, the the climb here has been extremely steady, and um, we're just getting more and more extended uh, above this 200-day moving average, which is this red line, uh, as we work ourselves towards that 2,000 uh, 2000 mark, just as we're heading into earnings season. And that's the key, guys. Um, you know, a lot of times you you get these markets that uh, take a bit of a breather, or people take a step back, at least the professionals do, when we get into earnings season, particularly when we had a good run into earnings season or a good sell-off into earnings season. Earnings season starts this week with, uh, among others, uh, Alcoa and Wells Fargo, uh, So, uh, but doesn't really kick into high gears until next week. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be something where we see some sell the news uh, and then we'll have to reevaluate whether that's going to be a cyclical top that we're that we're seeing in the S in, in U.S. stocks, uh, where we could see a correction of anywhere from 10 to 20 percent, or whether it's just going to be a little bit of a bump, and um, we just have to kind of tighten our time frames again. So, from my point of view, what I'm what I've done and what, what subscribers of the Study Trader uh, have uh, also done over the past, um, you know couple of days, a couple of trading is, and certainly over the past few weeks, is raise uh, more and more cash. You can see uh, here, this is the model portfolio on marketfi.com for the study trader. And basically, uh, we're working today, coming into an 80, coming, coming into today with an 88% uh, cash pile, uh, just two long positions. Uh, and you see your year-to-day performance is pretty good. I, th I think actually this is... Um, it's they haven't updated it. it should be closer to 15 percent so uh, you know that's how I'm looking to trade this market I, I don't think buying a breakout above 17,000 on the Dow is a a buy signal I think it's it's getting uh, it it's just the timing of it is very 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 dangerous to start piling into long positions here there's no reason to chase this market higher a market has always given us even if it's just like you know half or, or half a percent or one or two percent pullbacks from which we had a better uh, buying opportunities again if you look at the S&P you can see uh, the latest stretch here basically start the latest rally basically started uh, as the market uh, broke past about the 1890 mark and so far it's basically run about um, four four and a half percent with not much of a breather so i hope this makes sense guys so always you got any questions you can hit me up on twitter my twitter handle is steady trader and i'll see you in the next video